Hello, and welcome to the CDDA Louisville Challenge once again. You might notice things are a little bit different around here, and that's because I forgot to press the record key. Thankfully, you only missed like 10 minutes worth of footage, but it still sucks a lot. And you might wonder how I got my hands on this nice fire axe. Well, I'm gonna go back outside and walk you through what I did. Trash is still not doing good at all. We're hungry, we're severely depressed, and we still have our nasty cold. But things could be worse. We have survived around two days and killed 64 zombies. Still looking like a mummy when it comes to wounds though. First of all, it was extremely late last night, so I decided to stay inside of the car and sleep so I could not be tired and actually deal damage. After that, I decided that the rest of the neighborhood was a no-go because, you know, it's burned down, with our only prospects being up in this direction here. So I shimmied Trash's little butt all the way down, fought a group of zombies on the way, killing them extremely easy, with my bare feet, nonetheless. And lastly, I moved my way inside here, looting the kitchen, and realizing that this place was actually a survivor home. As you see, there's like a random N14 magazine in here, and other bits and baubles. The main thing that I really found was a spiked baseball bat on top of it, and a shotgun with a little bit of extra ammo. I decided that out of all places, this would be a good spot to make our base, so I decided to shove all of my stuff inside here. We don't have much to our name, but it is nice to have. Especially when this temporary base is so close to the, to the incident, so there's not a lot of zombies in the area, and I can work my way on down. That's about it though, so I hope you guys are caught back up and are ready for Trash's adventure. Today, we're gonna cure our cold. And the only way of doing that is by finding food. Or a damn can opener. <laughs> we have so much canned supplies, but no can opener. It's been tough for me recently. But now that I have a fire axe, I'm feeling a little bit better. The me that's playing trash, that is, Private Lime. Currently, trash in game is severely depressed, so we might have to figure that one out as well. <laughs> Anyways, off to the next house to go loot. And it looks like we have ourselves a nice little event. The real question, though, is if those bottles on the ground of this cadaver are filled with that good juice. And it looks like they are. That's two free bottles of alcohol and a bottle of bourbon to boot. I'm gonna save the bottle of bourbon for a Molotov cocktail because fire is gonna be our best friend in the series. Is there anything on his body? We got an empty bottle and a useless fork. Okay, what else we got in this place? A couple of books that I can't use. Another can of food game. Why do you tempt me like this? <laughs> a frying pan. A bunch of rotten fresh supplies and a lime. I'll yoink that just for the principle. Upstairs, we got a bottle of disinfectant, which would probably do well on my groin wound the more I'm looking at it. Yeah, that'll be good for us. I don't know if it's gonna help out too much, but it's better than just kind of letting that gestate. <laughs> I'm gonna be keeping the rest of the bandages on though, because they have definitely already healed with how fast our character is swinging. And I think being covered in bandages is just a cool aesthetic choice. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't kill me with like inf Is that a machete? That's pretty cool. The condition is terrible, but that's still another free weapon. Oh, that is the one beautiful thing about Louisville. Also a screwdriver, that's pretty epic as well. But that's the best thing about Louisville. The supplies are numerous, and the treasure is a plenty. All we gotta do is look around and find it, and immediately I see a free hoodie, a free t-shirt, a sewing kit with nothing in it, sadly. If I would have gotten a needle and thread, I probably would have cried, but we have vitamins. Last but not least, it looks like we have ourselves a nice pair of padded pants as well. That's, <laughs> that's actually so cool. You know, maybe suffering all the way through that first episode was worth it. We look like an absolute goober, but these pants will keep us warm. Is there anything else we got in here? I will be ripping up the clothing on top of it. Sadly, that seems to be it for the notable loot. Well, we got one more house in this little, like, subset. Actually, two more homes in the subset. Let's go check them out. While also dealing with the uh, unruly neighbors of the neighborhood. Don't mind me as I come inside here. First things first, we raid the kitchen. What do we got? Absolutely nothing. That's, that's fine as well. 
Just a couple of more zombies inside here that need to be hacked and slashed to an early grave. I guess a late grave? I'm really doing them as honor right now. There we go. And as if this house was a yin to that yang up at that really good place, there's nothing else in here. It was actually a bust. That's fine, because we got one more, and then I think we ought to chart out a better course. The only other home that's kind of interesting is that house down there. It has a boarded up window, so it might be a survivor house. It's probably like a... I'm gonna give it like a 70% chance that that's a survivor home, especially with the zombies leaving it. So we are gonna check that out after we're done here. Honestly, this game needs to stop giving me weapons and it needs to start giving me a damn can opener. I, I would kill so many zombies for that. Yeah, no, the game is just giving us more canned food. We just gotta keep our optimism and hope up, all right? With that, we can get through any terrible apocalypse situation. Give me that beanie. I may look like an absolute goober right now, but this is what peak performance looks like, all right? Don't question me. As if the game heard me talk about peak performance, we also got some fingerless gloves to go with it. <laughs> we look like such a bozo. Oh, I just walked straight out of stupid town with this outfit. Give me those painkillers. And give me that acoustic guitar, not because it's a good weapon or anything. <laughs> whoa, whoa, where the hell did you come from, sir? Oh, settle down. Anyone else? Holy crap. That was scary. Anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, I want to kill things in a funny way. Whoa, okay, just another zombie, but it's okay, because I can play him the serenade of death. Trash is somewhat of a musician. Don't let the burger flipper profession confuse you. That's gonna be it for homes on this street, though. I'm gonna go and check out some of the singular homes down here, saving the survivor home for later. I just really need some food right now. We might be able to cure our cold with the alcohol, but it's not good enough right now, you know? Aw, oh, and there goes our acoustic guitar. Well, it was fun while it lasted. It's time to actually murder them with an axe now. Yep, no survivors. Check it out, free can of sardines as well. Next home. Whoop. We also have ourselves some corned beef a meat cleaver, crackers, white beans, and a TV dinner that is uncooked. Okay, now trash is cooking. That's gonna be more than enough food to cure our cold. So I think as soon as we're done looting here, we're gonna go head back, chart out our next course, and cure this damn cold so we don't have to worry about being a target every minute of every second of our lives. Oh, and is that a free hand fork I see? Don't mind if I do, sir. That's a free infinite supply of worms right there. It's been a real long day, but trash can finally rest. Here's what I'm going to be doing for the next day or so. And that's curing this nasty cold. From that last looting trip alone, we have so much food that we're going to be able to... So, if you guys didn't know, the three steps to curing a cold is going to be food, staying indoors, and staying warm. We can stay warm because of the clothing that we have and because we're going to be indoors the entire time. We have more than enough food to last us. The white beans alone deal 60 hunger, and if that wasn't good enough, we have sardines and corned beef, which I can pull open with pull tabs. Sadly, I can't do that with the rest of the canned goods, but that is extra food. And lastly, we have alcohol to fix our terrible sleeping schedule. With all of these combined, all we have to do is shut ourselves off inside here. And in a couple of days, we should be a very quiet and sneaky boy. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I did go back to the other homes, grabbing all of the books so I can have something to read. I won't be able to read any of these, but in the future, we might be able to breach into those. For the most part, I collected these books and the comic book to fix our depression once our cold is gone. So the only thing that's left to do is uh, chill inside for a little bit and wait for the magic to happen. Bottoms up! Would you look at that? City Trash is no longer sick. Now, I will be staying in here at least until 12 p.m. because there is a pretty decent chance that it's not over yet. 
and I don't want to go outside and ruin our chances right now, especially when we blew through so many food supplies. We still are sitting on a pretty nice stash, especially with the corned beef, but a lot of this I can't access yet, so I gotta save it. I also decided to place a bunch of my weapons right next to our bed so I can feel comfortable at night. And lastly, it's actually snowing outside. I feel like this snow is going to be a new chapter for City Trash. Honestly, the only thing that's wrong with us right now is that we're limping at a pretty decent rate. But when we have muscles and fitness like us, that ain't gonna matter too much. Oh, and I forgot to mention one last thing. For this character, I kinda wanna do a short blade skill, and that is the whole reason why I picked Burger Flipper. Because it gives us extra maintenance, and it also gives us a passive bonus for short blade. I wanna be a little, a little stabby guy, you know? I wanna do a little shivin', a little, a, a little bit of tomfoolery. And this is gonna be the best stamina weapon, so fighting the hordes of Louisville are hopefully going to be easier with a short blade character. But that doesn't mean I won't use a big hefty fire axe at the early game, you know? At least until we can find a bunch of hunting knives to use. Anyways, it's time to sit down and read for a little bit, while also marking down some cool things on our map. If you're wondering, yes, I did just sit in a corner practicing my reloading for around three hours. It's worth it though, because we're at reloading level two. And with that, I think we have finally shook off the rest of our cold. If we still have it, I can immediately run inside and bulk ERPs, but I'm hoping that's not gonna be the case. Anyways, I decided to mark down, albeit very sloppily, most of the homes that we have looted so far. And the three things I want to check out right now are one, the survivor home here, and two, the stores down near this region, and three, some of the cars that I forgot before. I want to check to see if there's gas, I want to see if there's food, and I want to see if there's any more supplies I can grift off. So up first is going to be the survivor home. Oh, hold on though. I'm alright with doing a little bit of a detour. That's a nice leather jacket. Oh yeah, that's gonna be mine. Now that we don't have to deal with the cold, this is going to be a lot more manageable for us. Matter of fact, we might actually start to be able to game a little bit. Most of the most of the challenge came from the start. So now that we're here, it's gonna be pretty peachy. But still, you know, it's six months later with so many zombies, I don't know what to do. And is that another survivor home up there? Holy hell. Trash is a lucky yet unlucky person. Anyways, what I wanted was this guy's jacket. <laughs> okay, never mind. We still look extremely goofy, and I think our jacket goes better with it for now. <laughs> we'll keep it on the ground. Let's go check out this survivor home. I just realized Trash has the color palette of like one of those dolls that have been discarded years ago. This is not a good color palette for me, but maybe it'll be like uh, <laughs> maybe it'll be like a deterrent for the zombies, though. You know, maybe they'll see me and be like, no, this guy is like actually insane. Maybe we shouldn't kill him and they would save their own lives because we are pretty is. OK, you know what? Maybe the series ain't gonna treat me that bad anyways. Is that a sledgehammer? Okay. Hey, how are you? How's it going? Do you want to chat at my house? I should bring you along anyways. We also have more canned goods. Just really hoping I get that can opener soon. What else we got? A zombie that's about to get rocked. <laughs> oh, I bet you never felt that one before, ma'am. We also got a crowbar, a machete, and a nightstick. Another baseball bat even more canned goods and lastly a football helmet you know what yeah screw this whole like construction worker thing i'd rather have one of these bad boys hell yeah it keeps me warm and it gives me some pretty good protection plus football helmets are really cool though the last person that did wear a football helmet got murdered like a few days after Rest in peace, Shock Lord. May you forever be missed, but we'll see what happens. Let's go lug all of these resources back to our little stash and then work our way down. 
Hey, not bad. There's also some duct tape inside the trunk here. I should really make it a habit to check these cars. Sometimes you can, like, hit gold with these things. And they also might have a little bit of gasoline in them. So I'm going to go check that as well. No gas in these, but we can go loot the green car, which has another annotated map. That's in Louisville again. Don't bother wasting my time. Need a sledgehammer. We have a sledgehammer. Oh, <laughs> oh, the world has just opened up now that we got that so early. I'm really happy I decided to not take unlucky this time around. I usually get screwed over with RNG when it comes to looting these areas. And it's because I always think unlucky is a, f you know, is a free four points. But I 100% would have not found all of the resources if I had it enabled. So you know what? I'm glad city trash isn't as terrible as normal trash. That's a pretty low bar, but it's still an improvement. We have so many weapons already, and I think this really highlights the true benefit of going to Louisville. Like these main store locations, like the army surplus and all that stuff are cool and all, but what's really awesome about this place are the amount of residential homes. Like, look at the sheer amount here, and then think to yourself, how many of these are survivor homes? And how many of these are filled with katanas, sledgehammers, nailed bats, machetes? And you start to realize how cracked this place is. Anyways, we're not done here just yet, though. I'm gonna go up and go check out that other survivor home as well, because honestly, I'm a greedy little guy. And it'd be very cool to find something like a machete day two of the apocalypse. And is that a messenger bag? You're going down first. Yoink. Now it's time for the rest of these zombies to meet a similar fate. Now there are quite a few, so I can't get too overconfident, especially because we still have this limp. So we're going to play it kind of safe and just lead them down the street in a big old conga line of death and destruction at every swing. I sure do love me a fire axe. Who's next? I need to really remind myself that this is still Louisville and the horde counts are unreal. We're exhausted right now, so I am going to rest up a little bit and I'll hit it hard in like another 10 minutes. I just need a quick little rest. There we go. We're good. I think we're going to hit these idiots with some good old fashioned fence cheese. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm done with the fence cheese. That was an extremely close call, way too early than I would have liked. We're getting way too overconfident and overzealous. You know what? I think that we shouldn't loot the survivor home today. I think I'm gonna turn right back around and I'm gonna go loot the cars like I originally intended. I don't wanna get carried away with my plans. I actually want to dunk on some zombies, and in order to do that, I can't be taking unnecessary risks. I need to, like, slap myself in the face every time I think of a silly or goofy plan or something that will get me killed. And you know what? I don't want to poke that hornet's nest. Right now, what I need more than all is a calm, cool, and collected mind that follows plans. What I'm trying to say is the complete opposite version of me. <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit to get used to, but if I can reach a fraction of that power, it will be worth it. Come on, city trash, bop them in the head, and let's go check out these two cars down here for hopefully some gas. A tote bag, an empty gas can, which is awesome. Not only that, but this bad boy also has gasoline and a key. <laughs> Oh, that is that is a good sign. We're not going to use this van because it has very terrible horsepower, but it's still an option. Let's go check how much gas is in here. Wow, that is a tittlewink worth of gasoline. <laughs> I'll take anything at this point, man. Trash is trash is real desperate. We also have ourselves a wrench and an extra Louisville map. 
At this rate, I might be able to reveal the entirety of Louisville before I even step like foot out of this neighborhood. That is a massive chunk taken care of already. All I really need is this spot here, this spot there, and that spot there, and this entire thing will be encompassed. Time to give this truck a gander as well. And is that a... is that a crash helmet on that dude? Give me those boots, give me that bulletproof vest, and give me that motorcycle helmet. I'm not gonna wear it right now, but if I can pair the motorcycle helmet with a mask, that would be the best combination as it gives us the protection and the insulation to go with it. Is there anything cool inside this truck here? Got another wrench, a tire, a generator inside with a naked man. Okay, it's a little bit too dark for my tastes, so it's time to head back to our nice little base. Just like that, we're back in our nice little base. There's really only a door, so I can't call it safe, but it is home for now. I'm gonna go end the episode here. If you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more to see more of the CDDA Louisville Challenge. I think next episode, what I'm gonna try and tackle is looting that survivor home up here when I'm actually awake and have a full stomach. And after that, I really want to check out this small group of stores here. A lot of this is going to be padded out by residential homes, and I don't want to fight through too many hordes. So this is the closest decent target that I can get to that isn't a home. That's really all I have. We also need to prepare for the chopper event, which should be hitting in another like five days or so. So that'll be fun. Anyways, peace the hell out, everyone.